Good morning everyone. This is Devi from Little Hearts Publications and today I am going to take a topic from class 5 science and today's our topic is living things and regarding living things we are going to discuss living things grow, breathe and respond. Okay. Before going to the topic we will just discuss what are the characteristics of living things which separate from non-living things and what do you mean by stimulus and response and how does respiration takes place in living things just we will discuss about this and then let's go into the topic so in the previous classes means in third and fourth classes you might have learnt about what are the characteristics of living things living things grow living things move living things can respire living things can reproduce living things can uh, take food okay these are the things in those we are going to uh, deal with the growth breathe and also respond okay so first topic which we are going to deal today is growth in living things living things so grow breathe and respond and respond and our first topic is living things grow or you we shall we can write as growth in living things growth in living things okay so growth in living things regarding plants animals and human beings we'll discuss now so plants and animals grow in the similar way as human beings but they do not grow in the same rate same rate in the sense if you take plants plants grow throughout their life but animals and human beings they uh, grow till certain period only okay and as plants grow, uh, they, uh, while the plants are growing, they shed their leaves and they may lose some parts uh, like uh, branches or uh, flowers change into fruits and new things. So, they can replace or regrow these all parts. For example, if you take a plant, what are the parts which uh, grow again? Leaves, flowers, fruits and buds buds means all the new parts okay these are the things which grow again the new parts grow okay and it is slow in animals whereas animals grow in slow rate in slower rate okay compared to uh, plants animals grow in a slower rate okay so if you take a uh, few examples of animals uh, for example if you take lizard lizard hydra hydra and starfish and starfish these are some animals if you look at this lizard these all these uh, animals can uh, get new parts which are lost what are those we'll discuss and here the capacity okay just a minute the capacity the capacity of animals of animals to get new parts new body parts new body parts <coughs> even after they lose even after they are cut off even after they are they are cut 
of is known as regeneration is known as regeneration so what is regeneration here the parts which are cut off in some animals they get the same part again in that cut off part okay that capacity is known as regeneration this regeneration occurs in few animals we already discussed no lizard what is a part in the lizard which again regrows again that is tail and if you take a hydra if you take hydra hydra if one hydra is cut off i will draw a picture here this is hydra these are tentacles okay this is hydra so this hydra when it is cut off uh, accidentally or uh, some damage occurs so this single hydra will grow into separate it forms two two separate individuals okay it parts into two separate individuals so the part which is cut off here this this lower part it forms a separate individual and upper part again it grows into a separate individual and when we come in uh, to the uh, starfish starfish see here if a part of starfish is cut off here cut off this part again regrows here okay this part again regrows so these are few animals which comes under regeneration okay okay and when we come to the human beings okay in the case of human beings in the case of human beings what are the parts which can regrow is there any part in a human being which can regrow yes that is nails nails and hair nails and hair these are the two parts which can undergo regeneration okay and next uh, and uh, here the growth in living things is irreversible irreversible growth in living things growth in living things is irreversible ir reversible irreversible what is irreversible for example if you take an egg this egg turns into a chick okay in the la uh, okay in previous class you know about this okay egg turns into chick chick turns into an hen but this hen can it turn back again into chicken egg no it is not possible it is irreversible in the same way a baby grows into an boy boy grows into an adult or man can man uh, turn back into boy and baby no it's not possible so this is this shows that human being uh, sorry growth in living things is irreversible okay let's go to the next topic that is living things respond to stimuli <coughs> okay living things respond to stimuli respond to stimuli so there are many animals and plants which respond to some stimuli stimulus okay what are those we shall discuss now okay for example if you take some animals okay 
these animals animals react to many things what are those for example animals react react to light sound sound taste smell smell heat and touch and touch okay so and plants in case of plants plants also plants also react to most of the things react plants react to light sound heat heat and touch and touch okay so okay see we'll first we'll discuss about animals now let then we'll go to the plants okay now if you take examples of animals uh, for example you look at some animals when animals at night or in the daytime when we uh, focus or uh, project the light on to its face they run away from that place and also animals means in the sense humans also come under animals when torch is uh, focused on your eyes immediately you close your eyes what is the reason because the torch shows the light we respond to the stimuli isn't it so plants also in the case of plants okay in the case of plants also respond to light sound and heat for example human beings when we uh, come into contact with sharp objects like for example a small ball pin this is very sharp isn't it when you come in contact with this ball pin when it is touched to our skin from back or from anybody is poking us immediately we show some a response to this isn't it and also if you come into contact with some hot or cold things you immediately res uh, respond to that stimulus stimuli isn't it okay so let's go to the next topic children okay so now let's let's discuss what is stimuli okay okay the reaction of the reaction of stim of living thing of living things the reaction of living things to a stimulus to a stimulus stimulus is known as is known as a response okay is known as a response okay so when the living things show some reaction towards the stimulus that is known as a response so this is like a opposite uh, reaction like uh, isn't it so for every action there is an opposite and equal reaction in that way when something is uh stimulate uh, st uh, stimulating us immediately we show some response okay then we'll go to the next topic children uh before going to that uh, one more topic we see we see that okay uh, most of the animals create sound and also respond to the sounds isn't it for example if you make some sounds some animals run away from that place isn't it and in the same way plants also plants also respond respond to light and music light and music light and music light means in the sense sunlight so 
they show some growth when sunlight and music is giving some uh, stimulus with the help uh, if uh, sunlight and music are acting as stimulus there they show some response what is that they grow okay yes so now we have a small activity children okay and regarding plants respond to light so this one we are going to discuss about this okay plants respond to light plants respond to light plants respond to light so what we are going to do is now we are going to take two potted plants okay we are going to take two potted plants okay this is plant a and this is plant b these are the two plants which we have taken now and what we are going to do is we are going to take a cardboard and cover one of the plant with the cardboard and this cardboard is ha has some hole some opening here okay has some opening so that the sunlight can pass through this and this is an open plant which can receive the sunlight okay so we'll keep this plant for one week after one week we will observe the plant uh, we'll observe the plant so after one week what has happened what changes took place we are going to see now so after one week after one week so now after one week this is plant a and this is plant b this is plant b okay and this is plant b so after one week what did we observe from this activity we observed that this plant is bending towards the sunlight bent bent towards towards sunlight and this b plant is in the same way so what this experiment or activity uh, sh tell us so this experiment or activity tells us that sunlight is sunlight is sunlight is stimulus okay sunlight is stimulus and bending towards the plant towards the sunlight bending towards towards sunlight bending bending towards is response okay bending towards is the response okay so this same activity is uh, given in your uh, textbook uh, page number 8 so if you look at this you can see here plant a plant b a covered with a cardboard and plant a is bent towards the sunlight which side the hole is given okay and the next one we are going to discuss about one more plant one more example 
okay if we touch if we touch a plant called touch me not okay you might have seen some plants when you touch it they show some response what is that if you see this plant touch me not okay this is a name of a plant it's also called as mimosa mimosa okay this plant when you touch it it shows some response so what is the stimulus here stimulus is stimulus is touch stimulus is touch and what is the response closing closing or uh, folding of the leaves closing or folding of the leaves is the response okay uh, this is the uh, this is the stimulus and this is the uh, response okay so and the, the, there are some more uh, examples flowers like uh, magnolia and jasmine respond to darkness so here this magnolia magnolia and jasmine jasmine these two are the flowers which show some response towards the darkness so here stimulus is darkness stimulus is darkness here darkness and blooming the flowers bloom okay bloom at night bloom at okay bloom the flowers bloom this is the response bloom is response okay as these flowers are nocturnal flowers nocturnal t u r n a l nocturnal flowers okay the flowers which bloom at night are called as nocturnal flowers this darkness is the stimulus and blooming the flowers at night is a, a response okay then one more example is sunflower okay i'll write it here sunflower you all might have seen sunflowers sunflower when in the morning you can see the sunflower uh, uh, turns its face towards the sun okay to the direction of the sun in the afternoon uh, in the morning the sun rises in the east so the flower faces to the east and in the afternoon it shows to the north direction and in the evening it sets sets means it bends down while the sun is setting so here the sunflower shows its uh, stimulus stimulus is here sunlight stimulus is sunlight and turning turning directions turning direction is a response okay turning direction is a response okay 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 so human beings and animals respond to stimulus more than the plants so what are those here the pro, uh, the process in which the living things respond to stimuli is called as irritability okay what is irritability the process of living things responding to the stimuli is called as irritability the process of living things responding responding to stimulus to stimulus is known as irritability okay now we'll go to the next topic children roots grow away from light okay our next topic is roots grow away from light roots 
grow away from light okay to learn about this we are going to do one activity activity so let's discuss that okay if you take a jar for example this is a glass jar okay this is a glass jar and take some sawdust you know what is a sawdust after you cut the wood after you cut the wood the dust which is uh, left over after cutting the wood into pieces with a saw is called as sawdust so place sawdust in this glass jar okay and uh, spill some water over it and now place the bean seeds over it in different directions okay not in the same similar directions in different directions so wait for 3 to 4 days okay this is sawdust sawdust glass jar bean seeds okay bean seeds so how many days we should wait 3 to 4 days 3 to 4 days so and this should be kept towards in the sunlight so that uh, not in directly in the sunlight where the sunlight is available for this jar so after 3 to 4 days what happens this in the glass jar you can see the bean seeds you can see the bean seeds germinated okay bean seeds germinated but after germinating what happens what happens this root is grown downwards and shoot is grown upwards okay shoot is grown upward however the seed is however the seed is the leaves means shoot shoot part grows up and the root part grows down why does the shoot part grows up as sunlight is available out so when the root grows downwards which is away from the sunlight or okay away from the sunlight so this shows that plants respond to plants respond or roots respond to light roots respond to light light so here light is a stimulus and uh, roots growing down is the response okay so these are the topics which we have covered in this class we will we will uh, continue this in the next class thank you